We've seen your mighty acts. But we ask you, will you not revive us again? Will you not send one more outpouring, Lord, before the trumpet sounds? Will you hear the cry of your people all around the world, even in the persecuted church? Somewhere in a basement, they're crying, Oh, come, even so come, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, I pray tonight that we would be rapture-ready people. I pray tonight, oh, God, that our hearts would be pure, that our, that our spirits would be pure, that that which we do would have impact for all eternity. Oh, God, adjust our hearts and our spirits cleanse us of all filthiness of the flesh and the spirit hallelujah and we worship you every song that we sing tonight it's for you every moment that we stand and raise our hands or clap our hands or just stand in silence and in awe of you it's all for you Lord because you've been so good to us because you just keep doing it more and more, Lord. And, and when you're so faithful and we just want to praise you. So right now, lift up your hands and say, Lord, cover my family tonight. Would you do that? Would you begin to pray out loud? Don't mumble, pray. Lord, I cry out to you tonight. Yes. I don't come just to, just to hear somebody pray. I've come to pray. And Lord, in the name of Jesus, we cover our families tonight. Begin to call your family members' names out. Begin to call your mom, your dad, your brothers, your sisters. Call their names out. Hallelujah. You're too quiet. Turn the volume up on your voice. Turn the volume up on your voice. We need that rumble of prayer in the church again. We need that rumble of prayer in the basement of the church again. Hallelujah. Come on, cry out, cry out. God, anything but hell. I'll never forget a sermon T.F. Tenney preached called Anything But Hell. And he told about a mother who had a daughter who had strayed and she had gotten in the bad thing and was in prison and all kinds and they were going to execute her for murder and that mother he said when he went to visit her she was in her prayer place in her bedroom screaming anything but hell God save my daughter anything but hell that's when God will begin to move when we get desperate when we get desperate we believe that eternity is real and hell is real and heaven is real and every soul is destined for one or the other by the choices they make so right now, lift your hands and say, Oh God, save, 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 save the lost. Shake this community, oh God. Oh God, we cry out to you. Whatever it takes, Lord, save them. Whatever, whatever you have to do, save them, oh God. Don't let them die and go to hell. Let your grace find them. Let your grace run after them. Let your grace run them down. Let your grace, oh God, find them in the crack house or wherever they are. Go after our lost, oh God, and save and deliver. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You know that song, your, 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 your grace is running after me. It's got that, I don't know what it's called. Is it grace or love or whatever? Running after your me. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. Your girl is running out goodness. to me. running out to me. Give me the words. With my lies laid down, I surrender now. I give you everything. Hallelujah. Your, Your goodness. goodness is running out to run it now. Come on, sing it again. Your goodness Ooh. is running out to me.
I'll sing it. Come on. All my life you have been so, so good. With everything that I am with, I will see the goodness of God. All my life. Come on, saints. Sing it. Yes, yes. Spirit of the Lord, draw near. Spirit of the Lord, draw near. Come on, sing it with her. Be welcome. Be welcome. Be welcome here. Come and change the atmosphere. Come, Come and clear the atmosphere. Oh, yeah. We yearn for you. Sing it.
nation, we lift up America. God, our nation was founded on your name. God, our nation chose you as God Jehovah. And we ask you to begin in California and to move all the way to the East Coast, from the North to the South, to the East to the West. We're gonna see your move, Lord, right here where we are. God, cause the nations to fall before you. Wake up souls that are in bars and messed up on every kind of sin. Lord, wake them up and shake them right now. God, our children belong in your house. Our children belong in your house. God, when we dedicated our babies to you, Lord, we brought them to the minister and they prayed a prayer of dedication over them, Lord. We've given our children to you and they are yours, Lord. So Lord, reach down wherever they are. Maybe they're on drugs, maybe they're in some kind of illicit life, doesn't matter. There's no place too far for the reach of grace. There's no place your grace can't reach. God, hear the cries of the moms who have cried all night long over daughters and sons. You promised us our household. So we come before you humbly, but boldly to declare your word over our children. Say it with me. My children shall be saved. My children shall be saved so heaven falls sing amber so oh heaven falls as you stir among us all come on as you stir among us all so heaven falls sing it church so heaven so heaven falls we're expecting miracles <laughs> Cause we're expecting, expecting oh yeah show us your blood your voice begin to rise up out of your spirit come on just let it come up out of your spirit we're so used to just cheering but sometimes the in inner part of you where the Holy Spirit is needs to flow out through your vocal cords just let it rise right now in your spirit 
and let it come out of your voice right now. Come on, lift your voice. Lift your voice. All over this room, lift your voice. Whoa. Come on, let it come. Let it come. It's beautiful. Come on, it's intercession from your spirit to the spirit of God. God is a spirit and they that worship must worship in spirit and in truth. Oh, we worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Come on, worship, 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 worship. Let it come. Come on, from here. That's beautiful. Come on, release it. Come on, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Get your hands in the air and let your spirit come out of your voice right now. Come on. Oh, he's here. He's here. Come on. Let it come. Let it come. Let it come. Nothing can stand in your presence, no. Don't stop. Let it come. Come on, let it go. Let it go. Out of your belly will flow rivers. Let it come. <laughs> the mountains shake before you, the demons run and flee. At the mention of your name, King of Majesty, there is no power in hell. Lord, in it, who can stand before the power and the presence of the great? declaring saints great I mention of his name demons tremble and mountains melt like wax the oceans roar at his glory we declare your greatness lord we declare your authority we declare your power we speak it right now into the atmosphere the mountains shake before your saints sing Eve. at the mention at there is no power, no power. <laughs> Before the power and the present.
coming and coming and coming and coming and his glory keeps coming and coming and coming and coming and I fall before him because I'm a man with unclean lips and I cry you are holy I cry you are holy I just feel the Holy Spirit saying right now Lord we call right now on the prayers of the saints of God from even a hundred years ago that have been captured in the bowl of, of incense before your throne. The cries of the martyrs, the cries of our grandfathers and great-grandfathers and grandmothers that walked all through, all through Georgia and this southeastern part of the United States and asked for mighty revival. And Lord, we call right now and join our voices. We join our voices with those saints and we say, God, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. How long, oh God, will you hold back your glory? How long, how long? We languish, Lord. We want you, Lord. We want your glory. We want to see revival. Give us an awakening. Give us an awakening. Oh God, oh God. Oh God. How long will your name be profane? How long will those that hate you profane your precious name? Oh God, our hearts fall into anguish as we hear your name trashed on the airwaves. Arise, O oh Lord. Arise, O oh Lord. Show your glory. Show your power not for our sakes, not because we're righteous, but because of your name, because of your name. Show the broken the name of the healer. Show the broken the name of the Savior. Oh God, show the lost the way home. Have mercy, Lord. Oh, have mercy, Lord. 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 Oh, have mercy, Lord. Come on, get in the spirit with me, church. Get in the spirit with me today. Come on, get in the spirit. Oh, God, walk the streets of our capital and have mercy, Lord. Oh, God, move by your power. God, cause our leaders to bow before your great name. Let them see your glory. Let them see your power, God. Oh, God. And the nations of the world, our precious brothers and sisters in China and the Middle East who are walking into death because they carry your name. How much blood, Lord, before you avenge your saints? Come down in glory. Let a bath of mercy begin to hit the nations. Let the rain. Senor rain, Senor rain, Senor rain. Wash away our brokenness. Senor rain, Senor rain, Senor rain. Wash away our division, Lord. Senor rain, Senor rain, Senor rain. Come down. Let the knowledge of your glory cover the earth. 
Let the knowledge of your glory cover the earth. <laughs> Let the knowledge of your glory cover the earth. For the sake of your name. I know when I pray like that, I understand that a lot of people don't, uh, don't pray that way. But Pastor Jensen will tell you this, and anybody who reads the word a lot, there's things he will do for the sake of his name. They, he will do for no other reason. He is jealous over his name because at the name of Jesus, you see, every knee, every tongue, every tribe, every race will bow. He's given all authority that name. He's jealous over that name. So we begin to pray, Lord, for your great name. I love the passage that says, not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name be power. To your name be glory forever. Oh, somebody declare it forever. that because you're with us father because you're with us the victory is certain 
<laughs> the victory is certain because you're with us. That's why your presence is so important, Lord. <laughs> your spirit lives within me. So I will walk in your peace. Your spirit lives within me. My victory, my victory. Your spirit lives within me. So I will walk in your peace. Your spirit lives Come on, say that, saints. My victory, my victory. Your spirit lives grab your neighbor's hand we pray right now come on we pray right now we pray right now for every person that has been affected by this plague every person that's been affected every lonely person every person who have watched loved ones die and wondered why Lord, we say these words, you're our comfort. Lord, we pray right now for Marcus Lamb's family. God, we ask comfort would come from heaven. Let comfort come from heaven. It's okay, Father, sometimes we don't understand, but we'll understand it better by and by. It's okay. We trust you. We believe you. But Lord, right now, reach into that entire family and start to let the Holy Spirit bring comfort, complete comfort, complete peace to everyone in this room that has lost someone because of either the virus or just natural causes. Maybe someone's grieving right now. Lord, we pray over that grief. And Lord, it's okay to grieve. You wept, Jesus. But Lord, don't let it become unnatural grief. Don't let it become unnatural. Don't let it become a burden that causes us to collapse under the weight of it. But Lord, we realize our brothers and sisters are going through rough times. Lift off the weariness. Lift off the weariness. Lift off the weariness. The blanket of care lifted off. Oh, you said cast all our cares. That means violently throw our cares at your feet because you care. Oh, lift it off, lift it off in Jesus' name. Come on, saints, lift up your voice right now. Come on, that's beautiful. Oh, yes, lift off this, lift it off. Weariness, distraction, lift it off. Cares, lift it off. And let a joy come from you like never before. A joy from your presence. A joy from your presence. A joy. Hallelujah, I'm not alone, say Hallelujah, I am not alone. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, no, 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 you're not alone. You're my comfort. He's my comfort. Always hold me. Always hold me close. Let's do it one more time, saints. Hallelujah. Say it. about to say it. Come on. He's my comfort always holds me low. Now Lord, we came here for you. And we want to take just a minute or two here. Just to say how wonderful you are. Healer of every disease. You're beautiful, you're beautiful. I love you, I love you, I love you, love you. I adore you, Lord, I adore you. Because without you, there's no reason. Because without you, this is just noise. But when your presence comes, when your glory comes, you begin to work among us. And we believe, Lord, that you're not only working in Free Chapel tonight, but you're working all across the nations of the world. Because you are a great big God, and your hand is not short. Your hand is not short, and your voice is not finished. Declare your name over the nations. Mm -hmm. Mountains will move when you speak. Mountains will move when you speak. Mountains will move when you speak. Anybody got some mountains right now? Anybody got some mountains? Come on, say it to it right now. Mountains will move when you speak. Come on. Mountains will move when you speak. Mountains will move. Come on, many years ago, Pastor Jensen preached about saying grace to it. Come on, say it, say it, say it, say it, say it. Grace, grace, grace. Come on, say it, y'all. Grace, grace, grace. Lift up your voice and say, Oh, yeah, grace. Mountains will move when you speak. Mountains will move when you speak. Mountains will move when you speak. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Mountains will move when you speak. Go to see. Give me a seat, quick. Oh Lord, my God. Is there an organ player back there somewhere? When I and all some wonder consider all the world thy hand. Now that sounds like the that sounds like the bride right there. I see the star. I hear the rolling thunder. Thy power. Look at that. Throughout oh, 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 the universe. That's not how we did it in my church. When Christ shall come with shout of acclamation to take me home. Oh, we're about to go. Do you know that? What joy shall fill my heart. Now let's go to church right here. Then I shall bow hey. in humble adoration yeah and they'll proclaim I wish I had some drum oh my God how great thou art let's change the roof off a free 
chapel. Come on. Then sing my Y'all just fell apart right there. We're talking about God, aren't we? Not right here. This is God. How great he is. How great. I don't know how long we go with this, but I think we ought to give God praise for the victory. Oh, I think we should. And I think we might need to dance a little bit on the grave of what God has buried today. How many believe that your needs and the things you put before the Lord tonight have been buried? Do you believe that? You know what you do once it's buried? Once you got your foot on the devil, you dance a little bit. You declare the greatness of the Lord. I'm dancing on the grave. Are you ready? Hey! You threw a party in the presence of my enemies. You invite me to the table and you tell me just to sit and feast. <laughs> afraid when the terror's screaming loud at me cause you have overcome and you're the God of victory <laughs> oh come on Dan hey hey you throw a party in the presence of my enemies can somebody play this so I can dance you invite me to the table and you tell me just to sit and feast. You are not afraid when the terror is screaming loud at me. You've overcome, you're the God of victory. Look at that. The enemy in me, the all around me. But I'm running free, cause you set me free. The enemy in me, the all around me.
just dancing tonight because our enemy has been defeated. This fat boy can't dance like he used to. But let me tell you something. I'm dancing tonight because I believe a move of God is on its way. And just like David danced before the ark as it came back into Jerusalem for 17 miles, bring your glory back, Lord. Bring your glory back to this nation and the nations of the earth. From coast to coast, Australia, New Zealand, England, tonight got nothing to fear I just declare your name Lord Jesus 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 I love your name Jesus I love your name wish I had a sax player I don't know if y'all know one When I think about the Lord, how he saved me, how he raised me, how he filled me with the Holy Ghost, how he healed me to the uttermost. When I think about the Lord, how he picked me up, turned me around, how he chased my feet, placed my feet on solid ground. Sing it again when I think. When I think about the Lord Oh, y'all sound good How he saved me How he raised me How he filled me With the Holy Ghost How he healed me To the earth Every time I think about the Lord How he picked me up And turned me around How he placed my feet Let's go to church On solid ground Makes me want to shout, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, Lord, you're worthy of all the glory and all the honor and all the praise. It makes me want to shout, hallelujah, oh, thank you, Jesus, Lord, you're worthy of all the glory and all the honor and all the time I think about the Lord I remember how I used to live in the pit of destruction and sin and Satan had control of me but he came down to where I was anybody know what I'm talking about he pulled me up out of the pit put a new robe on my back put a ring on my hand and called me his son excuse me I just can't keep silent I can't keep silent it makes me wanna shout a hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you're worthy of all the glory, and all the honor, and all the praise. 
reaches to the highest mountain and it flows to the lowest valley way down in the lowest valley I know the blood it'll give you the strength to go from day to day it will never lose it's fine the blood you know that the blood that Jesus shed for me Let me make it up. Soothes all my doubts and it calms all my fear. Oh, that same love, you know what? It tries all my tears. Oh, the blood that gives me strength oh, from day. Tonight. 
Lift your hands high one more time. There's power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. There's still power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood. When we all get to heaven. Now let me tell you, heaven is not just from, for a bunch of old people who are about to die anyway. Heaven's for young people too. Because y'all have gone through a lot too. We're going to rule and reign. We're not going to float around on clouds. When we all see my Jesus, we'll see and shout the victory. Oh, by and by, when the morn comes, it's coming. Mess it all up. Go to E flat. There's a blessed time that's coming, coming soon. It may be evening, morning, or at noon. The wedding of the bride, united with the groom. We shall see the king, the king. when he comes. When he comes. Oh, my brother, are you ready? for the call we're gonna crown the savior king and lord of all i like this line right here all the kingdoms of this world they're gonna soon before him fall y'all didn't get that all the kingdoms of this world shall soon before him fall we shall see the king when he comes. Are you ready should the Savior call today? 
Would Jesus say, well done, I'll go away. My home is for the pure, the vile can never stay. Oh, we shall see the King when he comes. We shall see the King. We shall see the King. We shall see the King when he comes. It out. We shall see the King when He comes. One more time, everybody, sing that chorus. Come on. We shall see the King. We shall see the King. We shall see the King when He comes. There He is coming in power. We'll hail the blessed out. We shall see the King. You see, people look at Christians right now and they don't think there's a lot of power under the hood. But let me tell you something. The Almighty sent the Holy Ghost on the day of Pentecost. And he said, after you receive the Holy Spirit, you shall receive power. <laughs> so when the King comes back, he's not slipping in unnoticed. He's coming in power. He's coming in glory. Oh, my, my. Everybody say that line. Hey, he's coming in power. We'll hail the blessed out. We shall see the king when he comes. Oh, 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 oh. we shall see him Just, just, just one more old song for me. Just one more old song. I don't know how old, but how about this? I don't care. Just sing. One he has fire in his eyes, a sword in his hand. He's riding a white horse across this land. He has fire in his eyes and a sword in his hand. He's riding a white horse. All across this land He's calling out to you and me Will you ride with me? He has fire in his eye And a sword in his hand He's riding a white horse Across this land And he's calling out to you and me Will you ride with me? Will you ride with me? And we say yes, Lord. We'll ride with you. Are you going to ride with him? And we say yes, Lord. sad pastor these folks all go to church and they don't know this song it's pretty funny this is my favorite verse right here well it's actually my second favorite he has a crown on his head he carries a scepter in his hand and he's leading the armies all across this land and he's calling out to you and me We say yes, Lord. Come on, say it. Yes. Dressed in white 
is the, the best verse right here. That fire in his eyes is his love for his bride. And he's longing that we be with him right by his side. You see that fire in his eyes is his burning desire that his bride be with him right by his side. He's calling out from free chapel tonight and he's asking you, will you ride with me? Will you put away all your distractions right now and get ready to ride with me? Will you lay away all of your idols and all the things that have your heart torn when it says ride with me? We say yes, Lord. Come on, say it. Yes, Lord. Oh, if that's your heart, tell him all over this room. Come on, say it. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. One more, one more, one. Yes, Lord. And you know, when I was a little boy, when I was a little boy, nine years old, in East St. Louis, Missouri, at a Church of God in Christ, we'd end a service like this by go, turn that click off, please. We didn't have those back then. Somehow we made it through. Tell him, yeah, yeah, yes, Lord, our soul says, yeah. Y'all got this? Oh, y'all don't know this. Tell him yes. Come on, do it. Yes. Yes, Lord. Tell him yes. Yes. Now let's take it up just a little bit. Stay in the key of C, but we're gonna take it up one more time before pastor comes. Y'all, thank you for letting me be here on a special night like this. Wow, wow, wow. Tell him yeah. Come on, y'all. Yes. Yes, oh, oh. My soul said yeah. Without the band. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. One more time, just you. You all sound so good. Let's get a bus. Tell him, yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. My soul says, yes. Yeah. Do you say yes to his will and to his way? Give him a mighty praise tonight. Let's pray right now. Let's pray. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer together. All together at once. If you don't know it, just jump in on the parts you know. But pray it in faith. Pray it knowing that every line of the Lord's prayer is covering a whole aspect of your whole being and life. You ought to pray it over your food if you can't think of nothing to pray. If we'd pray the Lord's prayer, you'd pray it in about 20 seconds. If you'd pray it every day, you'd be amazed at what God would do. Are you ready? Let's pray it now in faith. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. Lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let's pray a prayer that we kind of built this church on. It's called the prayer of Jabez because a man by the name of Jabez fills up about three verses in the Bible with this prayer. And all the Bible says about it after he asked for four things and God granted him his request. That means it's a biblical prayer. It sounds something like this. Oh, that you would bless us indeed. That means in the superlative. That means not an average normal blessing, but God, I want the exceedingly abundantly above all that you could ask or think anointing. So come on. Oh, that you would bless me indeed. Look at the next part. And that you would enlarge my territory. Come on, say that again. Enlarge my territory. I never dreamed when I was praying that 20, 30 years ago in prayer meetings in this church, enlarge my territory. That we'd be going into prisons and we'd be going to 200 nations of the world and we'd be translating the program into language after language after language, major languages of the world. Enlarge my territory. You don't know, whatever you're thinking, God's brain is a whole lot larger, has something much, much bigger in mind. And that, your, this is the precious part, that your hand would be on me. Don't ever let me lose the tender touch of God. Wherever I go, whoever I'm with, whatever meeting I have, don't care who they are, don't care how powerful or famous they are, that the hand would be upon me. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Everybody raise your hands and say that your hand would be upon me. Keep your hand on me, Lord. The tender touch of God. Boy, and here's a big one. I don't want to mess it all up. I don't want to be a comeback story. There's nothing wrong with that. But keep me from evil. Keep me out of mess. Keep me from messing up. Keep me from being carnal. Keep me from temptation. Keep me out of the path of the unrighteous, oh God. Don't get, let me get in league with anybody I'm not supposed to be in league with. And oh, that you would keep me from the evil. Everybody pray it. Oh, that you would keep me from the evil. That I may not cause pain. And God granted him his request. Clap your hands and shout and say, God's going to do it for me. God's going to do it for me. Come on, somebody. Believe it. We need some miracles. There's a lot of sick people. We still have the Ferguson boy, um, Sam in the hospital who was in a horrible, horrible wreck, 20 year old kid. And he's doing so much better. He's a miracle that he's alive. He is an absolute bona fide miracle. He's over at Shepherd's Hospital and little by little, he's, he's doing better. And we're gonna keep seeing him get better and better and better. We're praying for so many in the church, praying for Teresa Rogers. That's a miracle I'm claiming from God, from God. Praying for so many out there who we get the request. And Father, just release miracles. Release miracles. We can't do it. But you're the God that made the axe head swim and the rivers part and you made a donkey talk and you made a prodigal come home. You made wicked kings go crazy. You, 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 you caused Pharaoh's army to be swallowed up. Do it again. Do it again.
again, oh God. Do it again in our day and in our hour. Don't make us read and, and look back on it, but do it again. Write another miracle in our lives and in our families and on our homes. Whew, hallelujah. I believe angels. I believe while we've been singing and praising, like Jacob, he looked up and he said, I found the gate of heaven. And the Bible said he saw a vision and he saw angels coming down and going up. When the praises go up, the miracles come down. The angels would go up with the praise and they would come down with the miracles. How many of you believe God can write a miracle on your house? <laughs> praise God. Boy, the presence of the Lord is here tonight. I appreciate your hunger, church. You don't have to be here. Nobody's making you come to this. But doesn't something in you yearn for more of it? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The presence of the Lord is going to go with you. And like Moses said, Lord, I don't want it if you don't go with me. I don't even want to go if you don't go with me. But how many of you know, as he said, Emmanuel has been birthed in you again tonight. And God is with us. He's with us. Hallelujah. Raise your right hand and receive this blessing. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine on you. May he be gracious unto you. May he lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In Jesus' precious name, you are blessed. Let the church say amen. Can you tell Linda Cooley and his amazing group how much we love them and appreciate them? You know, uh, where's your church at? Where's your church at? Is it in Nashville or Franklin, Tennessee? What a name. What an anointed name for a church. Franklin, Tennessee. No wonder the glory of God is there. Franklin, Tennessee. And if you're ever up there, that's the church you need to go to. What's the name of your church so they can watch you? Grace Church, and your website is uh, gracechurchnashville.com. If you like this kind of worship, and boy, he's a phenomenal preacher and anointed vessel. You know, if the anointing's on you, it just comes out. And, and uh, we've been friends for so many years, and we love you guys. Did anybody get any of their coffee this morning? They have a big old farm up there. They're country people. They're, there's country as cornbread. Look, look, I mean, I'm, I mean look. Oh, you got any more coffee left? Is it, is it caffeine? Because I don't drink that other stuff. I don't get the point to the decaf. I really don't. If I'm going to drink it, I want a little pep in my step. So, so go by. Is, can, is it still out there? Go by and get their coffee. It's homegrown out of the fields of Tennessee. Do they, does coffee come out of the field? I don't know where it comes from. Is it on a vine or a tree? Tell me. I honestly don't know. It's We roast it. Um, you roast it. We can't grow it in Tennessee. We have to get it from Colombia and Guatemala and Nicaragua. And we are talking we, about coffee, right? Coffee, yes. Right. I'm, just, I'm just checking. Oh, so you get it and then you roast it. We get the green beans and we roast them. And then we send out that aroma of glory all over the nations. Yeah, wow. 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 So, so it's, it's, uh, it's ready for you. It's out there. And you can go by and get your bag. 
They don't sell CDs, they sell coffee. I've never seen this before in my life, but I like it. I mean, it's the, it's the gift that keeps on giving every morning. So go by and pick up a, a, a deal of coffee back there and buy it and bless them and be a blessing to them. Tell them again how much we love them and appreciate them. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome stuff. We love you guys. He's a pastor and gave up his pulpit today to come put us first and say, I'm, I'm going to sow into that house and we'll never forget it. We've got, we've got a blessing for them, too, that we're going to send them away with. I mean, even though we believe in blessing people around here, so we're going to bless them. But thank you for that. Hey, here's one thing you can do for me and for all of our crew. Pastor Tracy, come on out. Tell Pastor Tracy you love and appreciate him. This is the work in this man. I'm, I'm pretty much his assistant. I, I just get up and preach on Sunday, and he runs everything else, and and he does a fabulous job, doesn't he? Don't you appreciate he and Becky? They are amazing, amazing people. And uh, so this, uh, this Christmas thing, tell people, you know, it's not, we're, not, we're not playing around with this one, are we? We're definitely not playing around. We're so excited about this one. I've uh, been here in the church since 1993, been in productions. My family got saved during production, my dad. I love what we do here as a church, and I am so excited about this production. I'm telling you, you've got to invite your family. Just like my dad got saved in a production, right. how many of you believe that your family can be saved? If you invite them, I promise you, God will show up and touch them. He will do that miracle. So we have live animals. We'll have, like Pastor, you described this morning, people flying from the rafters. Uh, music is going to be incredible. Jonathan and the entire team have been working so hard on this. It's just gonna be spectacular. It is a Christmas spectacular, so we encourage you. Uh, Pastor, we've had small group leaders that have went out all throughout the community. I guarantee you there's probably not a coffee shop that you will go to that there's not a poster that's been hung up. Uh, there's probably Chick-fil-A. When you go to Chick-fil-A, you're gonna see these invites. They've agreed to drop them in the bag to customers, so. The libraries, everywhere you went, every college campus around, Pastor Aaron and the whole team have went out and flooded the college campus. We're believing, just like you said, this church will be full again. Amen? Amen. And we're going to see it, the lives touched and changed. So we're, four times, 9 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 4 and 6 p.m. will be the service next Sunday. So plenty of time to go out and invite your friends. You going to do it? So grab some of these. Don't take them. But we, this is one thing that we challenge the staff and the pastors. Take five, and then take five minutes and pray over them. Yeah. Pray over them. Great. And be strategic. Don't just go out and just sling it around and just say, here, take, take. But pray over it. Know who, whoever's cutting your hair, pray over it and put it to them and say, I want you to come. Be my guest. Great. So all it takes is a power of an invite. Good. That's why people don't come, because we're not bold enough to invite people to come. They will come. I love the scripture. You said, I want my church to be full. I'm yeah. compelling you to fill my church. Yeah. Full church. Amen. 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 So go into all the world and pass out the gospel and tell them they'll see it. The virgin birth right here at church four times next week. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> You're already blessed. Get out of here. Leave. Leave. Have a good time. Have a good week. We'll see you Sunday. <laughs>